Okay, so learn to code. I feel like it's been this really hyped thing in the last several years. But now with all these layoffs happening and people are talking about AI automating programming, it seems like this sudden question we're seeing, is it still worth it to learn to code in 2024? What are some of the reasons why you should learn to code and what are some of the reasons why you should maybe not learn to code? Let's start off kind of negative. Let's talk about why you should probably not learn to code in 2024. If you are learning to code because you believe it is a get rich quick scheme and that's the only reason you're learning to code, then you should probably not learn to code this year. If you are learning to code just because you believe it will make you a lot of money in a short amount of time, then unfortunately that is just not reality. There are a lot of coding boot camps selling this idea that if you just go through a six to nine month coding boot camp, then you will graduate and you will immediately get that six figure salary. Unfortunately, that is more of the exception than the rule. You can definitely still transition into tech if you're watching this and you're learning to code and you're really excited about it. I don't mean to deter anyone and I would encourage you to go for it, but you just got to understand that immediately getting a high salary and immediately getting that first job after just one year of learning, that might not be the reality. And to be honest, it might be different for other people, obviously, but for me, it was two or three years before I hit that first six figure salary working as a developer. All right, so another reason why you should probably not learn to code in 2024. You should probably not learn to code if you're not passionate about it. And let me explain what I mean before you start yelling at me in the comments. If you aren't passionate about coding, then it's going to be that much harder to actually learn how to code. You're going to really struggle with it. Because when you're learning to code, you're going to need to give up Saturday nights watching Netflix. You're going to give up invites from your friends to go to parties if you ever get invited to parties. And you're going to have to make that sacrifice for programming. And if you're really passionate about it, it'll be much easier to make that sacrifice. So learning how to code will just be so much easier if you actually genuinely enjoy doing it. But when I say passion, I really believe that passion can be cultivated. I remember when I got started coding and I didn't immediately feel super passionate about it. When we think about passion, we usually think about this really feel good emotion where you're in the flow and you're doing something you really love and you're like, yeah, this is it. This is my thing. And I remember when I learned to code, I didn't feel that way at first. Because I think when you're learning any new skill, it's going to be really hard. It is not going to feel good and it's probably not going to feel like passion for the first while. You're going to be banging your head against the wall. You're going to be like wanting to rip your hair out over these basic coding problems. And it doesn't really feel like passion. When I just stuck with it, after a few months of learning to code, my passion started growing. I started getting a little bit better at it. I started enjoying it. Now I do feel like programming is my passion. I think it's really exciting. I think it's incredibly fun, but I didn't feel that way right away. So I would just keep this in mind. Passion can be cultivated. Passion can be grown. If you just got started with programming and you don't feel very passionate about it, maybe try it out for a few months and see if your passion grows. Okay, so that being said, what about the reasons why you should learn to code in 2024? Before I dive into those reasons, I want to take a second to talk about Brilliant. Brilliant is an awesome platform that I've been using. They have math courses, computer science courses, they have data science courses, and courses on programming in general. I signed up for Brilliant nearly a year ago, and I've been a student ever since. And then recently this year, Brilliant reached out to me about doing this quick sponsorship where I talk about my honest opinion of Brilliant. What I really love about Brilliant and what kept me as a student is the interactivity of their lessons. I've taken so many online courses where I'm just watching a video for two or three hours and at the end of the course, I didn't feel like I actually learned anything. And what I love about Brilliant is there's active learning. As you go through a course in Brilliant, there are challenges and quizzes and ways to keep you engaged and actively learning every step of the way. One of my favorite courses is their computer science fundamentals course. This course goes over how a computer thinks. 
it teaches you how computers make decisions. And I love that it's helped me understand how a computer thinks. I also love that Brilliant is really customized to your needs. You can start off at whatever pace works for you, and you start off at the learning level that you're comfortable at. You can try out Brilliant for free for 30 days. I will also share a link, and if you do sign up for Brilliant using my link, then you will get 20% off the plan. This discount is only available for the first 200 people who use this link. The link is brilliant.org slash madisoncanna, and I will link that below. Back to reasons why you should learn how to code. I believe you should learn how to code because programming is a profession that, in my opinion, it's still gonna be around for a while. There are so many people right now saying that in five to six years, AI will completely automate programmers and like, why bother learning to code? Again, this is just my opinion, but I really believe the profession of developer is here to stay. Now, even if AI does automate a lot of programming, even if it writes a lot of our code, we're still going to need technical people to review this code and to debug this code. I do think that AI is going to play a significant role in a developer's day-to-day -day work in the future, but to say, oh, you shouldn't learn to code because programming is just going to be automated, I really think that's silly. So if you really love programming and you're really having a great time learning to code, I wouldn't listen to people that tell you, oh, don't learn coding because in five years you won't be able to get that job. I personally just don't think that's true. I believe that learning to code is absolutely still worth it in 2024. If you are watching this and you really love programming and you want to get into it, then I would definitely encourage you to learn to code this year. Okay, so these are a few reasons why you should and maybe shouldn't learn to code in 2024. Let me know what you thought in the comments below if you agree or disagree with me. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love if you subscribed.